welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today, because taking a look at this daily time frame for Bitcoin, you can see that we are still breaking out to the upside from this descending channel that Bitcoin has been consolidating in for a couple of weeks. So for now, what we can expect is to just see a continuation further to the upside for Bitcoin. However, the key price level to actually watch right now is about 70.4K, roughly speaking. Although do keep in mind that this trend line does trend down over time, because if you see a convincing break below that level, for example, breaking the trend line below, then retesting it and then getting a further continuation to the downside. Well, in that case, we have flipped this into a level of resistance once again, and then Bitcoin will just be consolidating inside this pattern once more. For example, we have seen that right here where we got a move above and then actually just traded right back below it the following day. Now, in this case, we didn't fall right back below it the following day, but of course it is still just completely a possibility to start trading back inside this range. And if we do actually trade back inside the range, then yes, 57K is back on the table once again. And one more thing I do want to note is that if we take a look at the weekly time frame for Bitcoin, you can see that the last weekly candle close was actually not even close to breaking out from this pattern. So in about two days from now, we will have a new weekly candle close. And if that does close above this descending channel, then in my opinion, a further continuation to the upside is very likely. Then in my opinion, a further continuation to the upside is to be expected. If we, for example, get some more confirmation on the daily timeframes although i don't want to sound too bearish right now because we are still breaking out from this symmetrical triangle pattern that actually has a price target of close to seventy-five thousand us dollars for the bitcoin price and so long as we are still trading above this point of the breakout then yes we should see further continuation to the upside though of course we must keep in mind the point of invalidation and for this pattern it would be 68.8k so if you see something like this where we trade below and get some confirmed candle closes at least on the four hour time frame below the point of the breakout well yes in that case this pattern is invalidated and we need to cross off this price target because the bitcoin price will no longer be targeting that price so taking a look at these fibonacci levels right here you can see that recently we broke above the 0.786 fibonacci level although of course we do have to hold above that level at about 70.1k and potentially since we are getting some bearish momentum right now we might be revisiting this 0.786 Fibonacci level once again. One little warning signal that I talked about in yesterday's video as well is actually this ascending trend line. And this was a level of support up to this point where you saw the Bitcoin price kind of just bouncing around off of that trend line. And I did say that so long as we are holding this as a level of support, then we would see a continuation of the bullish momentum. And if we saw a breakout down below, then more likely we would be seeing some bearish momentum in the short term and it could potentially indicate a reversal in the trend. So what we saw right here is a quick move down and we pretty much like retested this level and are now getting a rejection. So we might need to be expecting some more bearish momentum in the short term here, because do remember we are looking at the one hour time frame. So just even before I post my next video, this could already be reversing back to the upside. But this is something that is noteworthy in my opinion, because you could also draw a trend line like this. And then here you would just see a clear move where we did not hold this as a level of support, broke below it and are now getting another rejection from there. So personally, that is something I noticed in the chart here. And I would also be looking out for this 70.4K level, roughly speaking, because if we really do see a move below this level, then we might actually get some more bearish momentum soon. But of course, we got to keep in mind these support and resistance ranges for Bitcoin because what you can see right here is that Bitcoin was trading inside a big level of resistance, sitting from 71 all the way up to 73,000 US dollars. And with this rejection that we're seeing right now, the next level of support is going to be right here at 70.45K, roughly speaking. Though if you do see a break below, flipping it into a level of resistance, then we are likely heading to this next level of support below that, sitting from 70,000 all the way down to 68.5K. So that is important to pay attention to. So as for why we're seeing a bit of a dump in the Bitcoin price right now, well, just taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map, we get some clarity right away because right here you can see that we have a lot of liquidity sitting at 70.6K. So these are people that are longing the Bitcoin price. 
they will lose their money on their trade if the price reaches this level. And of course, the price is currently already very close to that. So I do think it is very likely that we're taking out this 70.6K level because typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is the most liquidity on this chart. Although if we do zoom out to this three-day time frame, you can see that in fact, most of the liquidity is sitting to the upside as high as 72.3K. So this is important to pay attention to. You can see that in this first move to the upside here, we took out a bit of that liquidity, but left most of the liquidity here. And I do think it is likely, although there might be some more downside first, I do think it is likely that at some point we are going to sweep this level of liquidity once again. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin ETF flow tables for today, what we can see right here is that yesterday we saw a net inflow of about $200 million into these Bitcoin ETFs. However, what is noteworthy is actually that, yes, we have the Grayscale Bitcoin ETF selling once again. And at the same time, we also have the ARC Bitcoin ETF selling about $100 million worth of Bitcoin on Thursday. And seeing these net outflows from these ETFs is noteworthy because if we see more of them selling more and more Bitcoin every single weekday, then of course, this is a lot of selling pressure on the Bitcoin price, pushing it down lower. And in this case right here, you can see that iBit, the BlackRock ETF, is actually the one that saved today because they got a massive inflow of $350 million when on average, they're only buying $170 million. So for example, if we see the volume drop off in this BlackRock ETF and these other ETFs continue to sell, then that could send the Bitcoin price down very quickly. So that is important to pay attention to. And of course, I will review this in tomorrow's video as well when we have new data coming in. Now taking a look at Ethereum on the daily time frame, where we have this hidden bullish divergence on the chart. And usually what that means is that you will either get some bullish price action or just some choppy sideways price action, which is exactly what we have seen so far. But you can see that the price is now exactly at this trend line. So potentially it could invalidate that hidden bullish divergence. So the price level to pay attention to right now is actually 37.60. Because if we do trade below that, then it actually invalidates that hidden bullish divergence. Anyway, so taking a look at the Fibonacci support and resistance levels, you can see that we have big Fibonacci resistance at $4,000 exactly. So this will be a tough level to break. And if we do see a further move to the downside from here, for example, if we really see Bitcoin starting to correct, we might see something like that. And the next Fibonacci support is the 0.618 Fibonacci level, which should act as a strong level of support sitting at 33.30. So those are some higher time frame price levels to pay attention to. Although zooming in here to the four hour time frame for Ethereum, you can see that recently we saw exactly what I was talking about in my recent videos with this level of resistance right here, which is sitting at 38.50 because we broke above that. And then I told you guys specifically, this is not confirmed as a level of support yet, because first you would need to see the price actually bounce from there, flipping it into a level of support. And in this case, we traded above and then just fell straight through it. So it is very good that I mentioned that in my recent videos. Anyway, so then we fell right into this big level of support sitting from 38.50 all the way down to 37.50, where we got a bit of a bounce and then another rejection from this level of resistance. So in the case that we do see Ethereum now trading below 37.50, trading below it and then flipping it into a level of resistance, then likely we will be heading down to this next level of support sitting at 36.50. But if we do just get a massive pump to the upside right now, where we bottom out and then start seeing higher lows in the price well of course after breaking this level of resistance and this short-term level of resistance sitting at 3880 we will likely be heading up to this next level of resistance sitting at 3920. so those are the key price levels to pay attention to for ethereum right now now moving on to solana on the four hour time frame where again we see exactly what i was talking about in yesterday's video because i talked about this fibonacci level sitting at 174 dollars for the price of solana and I said, we are basically ranging between this level of support and this level of resistance. And in the case that you see a break below that $172 level, then likely we will be seeing more bearish momentum soon. And in this case, we broke below, got a quick move down, a quick move back up, and then a rejection from that exact same level where we are now seeing a big dump to the downside. So again, guys, if you're watching these videos daily, just send it to a friend or something like that if they're also trading a lot, because my calls in these videos over the last couple of days and ever since I started this channel recently have been extremely accurate. So I would really appreciate it if you guys send it to some of the other people you know 
that are trading crypto. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that's really random. So let's talk about this level of support right here, the 0.5 Fibonacci level sitting at $163, where potentially if the Solana price goes that low, you could see a bounce from there, and that should act as a strong level of support. So that is important to pay attention to. So taking a look at these short-term ranges for support and resistance for Solana, you can see that Solana is right now in this level of resistance, sitting from 172 all the way down to 167 for the price of Solana, where we get a breakdown below, maybe going back inside the range and then a move down from there, then likely we will be heading down to this next level of support sitting at $164 for the price of Solana. And if we do trade below that, then there will be that Fibonacci level sitting at $163. Though if we really continue to see some crazy bearish momentum here, the next level of support below that will be $160 and then $155 for Solana. So those are some so those are some important support levels for Solana. Now one thing I do want to mention here for Solana is this trend line that I talked about in yesterday's video as well because recently we had this downtrend when after we broke it, we started trading in this little uptrend right here. Although what we can see right now is that yes, last time I talked about it, we held this as a level of support. Although I did say in my last video as well, in the case that we see a break of this trend line, then potentially we could be seeing some more bearish momentum coming soon for the price of Solana. And right now we are on that exact trend line, although we have not confirmed a candle close below yet. So that is noteworthy because without confirmation, we cannot just say, okay, we've lost the level of support and we're going straight down from here, right? Although if we really do confirm a break below, maybe retest that level once again, then likely we will see that continuation to the downside unless Bitcoin just reverses to the upside and then likely we will see Solana do the same. But usually these little bit longer timeframes are good for, for understanding the momentum in the market. Now, lastly, if you are new here, I highly recommend you go check out the Discord community. You can find it with the first link in the description of this video. For example, earlier today, I was taking some high leverage, uh, short and long positions on Bitcoin when we got some crazy news coming out. So we had some very volatile price action which is great for leverage trading. Anyways, I don't recommend you trade with 100x leverage. <laughs> it's, it's like really risky. Anyways, if you want to get access to my trading signals, I just posted a new one for the little bit higher time frame inside the Discord server. So if you want to go check that out, once you're in the server, just go to this trading signals access channel. And all you have to do is follow these steps right here. Basically, you just register to MEXC or Blowfin and you can start trading on there. And the benefit of that is that you can trade with high leverage up to 200x leverage with fees as low as 0.01%, which is completely crazy. That's very low. And besides that, you can get bonuses up to $1,000 simply for trading and depositing on MEXC. However, in the case that you cannot register on MEXC or you cannot KYC on MEXC, then I recommend you check out Blowfin because on Blowfin, you can trade with up to 150x leverage only using your email address. So you don't need to verify with your ID. And besides that, you can also get up to $500 in trading and depositing bonuses simply for trading on that platform. So you can find the links to those exchanges in this video's description as well. And if you do end up registering to these exchanges, as well as want access to my trading signals, then just let me know inside the Discord server. You can open up a support ticket or just tag me in there and then I'll verify that you followed all the steps. Either way, if you do end up joining the Discord server or not, this has been today's market update. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.